Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have an update from the Divine Masculine. We're going to find out how I'm currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so I see that um, at the moment this Divine Masculine is getting guided, okay, to make some type of movement towards you, okay. Um, I'm definitely seeing Spirit is taking a step in here um, and encouraging this Divine Masculine to move forward, okay, make some communication with you, um, open their heart to you. I do see that... Um, some of these Divine Masculines are not listening to Spirit and a lot of bad things are happening to these Divine Masculines, like they're going through a lot of bad karma because they're ignoring their intuition here. I'm hearing that I've got... Yeah, this person is like... Spirit is literally trying to push this person to communicate with you and they keep ignoring their intuition. Um, and now it's like they're stressed out, um, nothing's moving forward, their money's going bad, there's a lot of burden here. King and Queen of Pentacles coming out together, okay, but the King is reversed here. Yeah, because this King keeps ignoring the intuition, this King is a little bit, um, they don't really want to show their emotion here. They're a little bit in their ego. They keep ignoring their intuition. And again, they it's like they want to ignore their intuition. They want to ignore this because they feel like it's too hard or they're scared of rejection. Um, but the thing is, um, spirit's not allowing them to continue their life the way that they expect, okay? It's like nothing's moving anymore. Yeah, because this person, they think they have a choice here. They think they have a choice to not move forward, but they don't. And Spirit is showing them by stopping everything else in their life from, move, uh, from moving, okay? I'm getting that, like, at the moment, Spirit has, like, literally stopped their money. Um, they could be getting in some type of legal trouble here. This divine masculine just continuously keep ignoring their intuition, okay, stuck in their ego. And the thing is, is they don't realize that this is going to continue. This stagnation is going to continue and until they actually follow their intuition and listen to what spirit is saying to them um, and move towards this love, okay, nothing else is moving. You could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries here. Yeah, this person, they could be um, trying to like party, go out, celebrate, okay, and everything's going wrong for them. They could be getting into fight with people around them, I'm getting. This divine masculine, okay, they are a little bit scared to come forward and listen to their intuition here because they feel like it's a trick or they're going to get rejected, okay? Um, a lot of them are looking at this in a really low, low vibration, basically, okay, in a very negative way. They feel like that you'd reject them. They may be trying to keep multiple people or that was their goal in the past, but again, spirit had stopped everything for this person. Yeah, like, this person can't even enjoy what they used to enjoy. Like, spirit won't allow them, right? Because this person, their destiny is to have the Ten of Cups here with you, but they keep ignoring it. They keep ignoring it. They keep going against it. And it's like they get nowhere, okay? They literally get nowhere. Okay. 
the person may have tried multiple like things like to uh, occupy their mind here and nothing's really working out they could have even tried to um, replace you okay with another person right but again nothing's going right for them because they're meant to be with you this person is ignoring their intuition I do see that um, for somebody that this divine masculine could have gone through like a near death experience, okay, or something like that. If it wasn't a near death experience, it could have been like a death in their family or something. Um, but I am getting for somebody that a near death experience here with the four of um. Sword in the death card, that's what I'm getting, near death experience, right? And this could have been um, spirit trying to talk to them, okay? Because I am getting after that, there is this Knight of Cups, okay? I'm getting that this person matured from that experience. I'm getting um, a really dark uh, story, to be honest, um, in my mind. Like, I'm getting that this person's really broken over this situation and how they can't open up. This person feels like they can't do it. They feel like that they've shown you somebody they're really not. And they also feel like um, this person is very stuck in the matrix. I'm hearing they're stuck in the 3D. They m may not even realize, um, you know, their spiritual side. But I am getting for somebody they had like a near-death experience or something that really opened up their eye here. This is not going to resonate for everyone. This person really hurt over the way they treated you. You're dealing with somebody that was very sneaky. They may have tried to like intentionally hurt you here. I am getting that this person did something really bad in the past in this connection and now it's like they're getting guided to move towards you, but they're like they're resisting it, right? They they feel like they cannot move forward. This person's really embarrassed at the moment, okay, because of this connection, because of the way they treated you. They feel like they they took a step back here. They may have assumed something. They may have assumed that you were in another relationship or something. I am getting that this person is going to break their silence, that's what I'm hearing, break the silence. Um, I am getting that's going to happen, okay? So these Divine Masculines definitely have been through a lot, okay? Spirit has definitely been in their ear trying to encourage them to move forward. Um, but they feel really embarrassed here because of something like they acted really immature here in the past. This divine masculine, they expect you to walk away from them, okay? I'm hearing Shelly. I don't know if that's somebody's name or nickname or something. Let me know if that resonates for you, though. This divine masculine is watching you, right? I'm also getting that somebody's watching them. They could be in, like, a third-party situation or they could be around somebody. I am getting it for masculine. Um, like, another masculine. Uh... I'm getting somebody around them watching their every move, okay? Hmm, interesting. We've got the king and the queen of one here coming out together. But I am feeling like somebody... Somebody is watching this, okay, on their end, okay? And they do not want this to move forward. 
They may be listening to this person. This could be a Leo. So somebody doesn't want this to move forward on their side, okay? They could be talking shit, okay? Um, I am getting that they're basically throwing you in the dirt, whoever this person is, um, saying things about you, but I'm getting that they're assumptions. I keep hearing assumptions, right? I am getting there's this sense of this other person telling your person that you have like a lot of options or there's like this competitive vibe or they'd have to like compete for you. I'm hearing throwing you under the bus, okay, so they definitely could be talking a lot of shit. And I'm getting this person watching, oh, what the hell? This person watches your Divine Masculine um, a lot, right? It could be like a parent of your Divine Masculine or something. And I'm getting that this person makes sure that they do not move forward. What the hell? They make sure that they do not move towards this happily ever after, but that's all they want. What the hell? This person feels like that they have to answer to whoever this... I'm getting it could be a Leo, it doesn't have to be a Leo or a Cancer, I'm getting. You could be dealing with a Leo, Cancer or Scorpio here. Oh my gosh, I'm getting that, okay. You've got people watching you, you've got your Divine Masculine watching you, but you also have this other person watching you, um, and they are trying to convince your Divine Masculine that you have so many options, that you, like this divine masculine would like have to compete for your attention here. You have all these options here. You don't even care. Like you don't even care about all these options. I am getting that like there's a lot of people that um, you know you may be really popular or something. But there's just like a lot of people around you wanting your attention. And you've got somebody telling the divine masculine, and that's the thing. This person watching you as well. So whoever this is. They're both watching you, what the hell? Hmm, interesting. It's like they're watching you. I keep hearing keeping up with the Kardashians, but instead of the Kardashians, it's you. Okay. Um, hmm. It's like these people are really interested, even this other person, they're really interested in your love life or who you're seeing or what's going on with you. It's like they're studying you at the moment, okay? I am getting this could be like two people like maybe working together, not like working together, like maybe like they watch your social media together or something, but it could be that or it could be like this other person separately watches your social media, but they both talk about it. Um, they're both watching you, this divine masculine, and like whoever this other person is. I'm getting a family member, friend, or whatever. And they're talking about, um, they're, they're basically talking bad on your name, okay? I'm getting the this divine masculine, okay, this divine masculine actually does a lot of talking about you, okay? Um, and this is because they want to be in your energy, it's like they always bring you up, okay? But I am getting that this could be like a friend or a family member, they they always talk to about you and I'm getting like they would bitch about you but like the divine masculine would just actually want to talk about you like because they loved your energy but this other person would actually say bad things about you right um this is like such a specific story let me know if it's yours in the comments
I am getting that there is some, like the other person, I don't know who this is for your Divine Masculine, but for this Divine Masculine, there's somebody else they're talking shit to about you, but this is just really so they can engage in your energy, basically. And they're saying shit like it's selfish, okay? Um, but the thing is, whatever they're saying, they don't believe, okay? Um, now, the thing is, as well, is whoever this person is, it's like they keep a very close eye on your divine masculine, making sure that they do not move towards this connection. And I am getting that this person, I don't, I'm not getting that your divine masculine like talks about like you, like, like that, like you know, being in love with you or anything. But I am getting that this person knows deep down, and they make sure your divine masculine does not communicate with you, okay? I'm getting something about deleting a number, okay? Maybe this person forced your divine masculine to like delete your number. It's like this person would be mad at your divine masculine for following their heart, okay? I'm getting that this person is not like a karmic or anything. This person actually could be trying to keep your divine masculine where they're at. Okay, um, 1717 on the clock. I'm getting this person could be trying to keep your divine masculine where they're at. Okay, so for example, it's like they don't want them to move forward. Okay, now I am getting you're the empress. Okay, everyone, um, so everyone can see that you're the empress. Okay, um, everyone, including this person who talk shit about you to your Divine Masculine, basically in hopes that your Divine Masculine will not move towards you, okay? Because moving towards you would basically be a major glow up, okay? And I am getting that this person, whoever it is, they want to keep, mm, they want to keep your Divine Masculine stuff, okay? They do not want your Divine Masculine to, I'm hearing one up them or something like that. But again, they do not want to keep your, like, if your Divine Masculine is actually single, this person wants to keep them single, maybe to like party with them or whatever, but they would like literally be angry if they follow their dreams and with, with you, right? So this person keeps their self away from you because this other person, I'm hearing childish, this is really childish, childish. So basically this person is talking bad about you in hopes to keep your divine masculine away from you because they feel like being with you would again like i don't know this person could be in like competition this could be a friend of theirs um for some of them it could be like a parent that doesn't want them to like leave them okay but for some of you it's like a friend that sees your worth as well um and does not want this divine masculine to actually move forward and I'm getting they can see as well, like this would be happily ever after, but they don't want your divine masculine to move forward, so they try to keep them stuck. I'm getting that your divine masculine sort of acts like they don't like you to this person, okay, but it's an act. They're actually in love with you and they're hiding it, and I am getting this person seen right through them as well, because this divine masculine will not stop mentioning you, they will not stop talking about you. This Divine Masculine, okay, look, they are focused on you, they want to come forward, they want to communicate with you, they keep themselves held back, again, because this could be somebody they live with, okay, this could be like a mother, father, sibling, right, somebody that's definitely close to them a lot. So yeah, this Divine Masculine, I'm getting something about a yacht, okay, let me know if that resonates. But this Divine Masculine does feel restricted at the moment because they feel like um, this person, like they've, they've put on this act that they don't like you, they've been talking shit, okay, about you. I'm hearing running your name through the dirt, 
well to be dealing with the layer here. I am getting though that this person is saying bad things about you to this other person because it's like they're really missing you. Okay, and they continuously talk about you. I'm getting something about right. So this person actually feels stupid. This is why masculine doesn't they feel stupid because they're allowing this other person to like control them. Okay, they feel restricted to come toward you, which is what they really want here because they're obsessed with you. Um, but they feel basically immature because they're allowing this other person to hold them back from what they want. And I don't know why this other person's like always around them. Like I'm always getting this other person like around them or near them, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a strong Scorpio um, or a Taurus. This divine masculine, okay, they have to act a certain way in front of this person and it has to like be that they don't like you, okay, because otherwise this other person will like lecture them or something or try to, like they'll get real mad. Like, they'll get real mad. I don't know why, but they'll get real mad. It's like a secret. It's like they want to be with you, but they feel like they have to be secretive about it around these people or this person. I'm hearing the name Tony. This person feels stupid. Like, they feel immature. They feel like... um. They cannot get away from this other person, like this person's always in their energy, um, they can't do what they want. I don't know if this is like a parent or something, you could be dealing with a Libra here. Yeah, this person's literally holding themselves back, holding themselves back here. Victory's coming up in reverse, they're literally not happy. And it's like they're pretending that they don't feel the way they do about you. I'm hearing 1111, so yeah. This person pretending that they don't feel the way that they do about you to this other person and that talk is shit about you, um, yet they have this like strong attachment to you. Like you make them really happy, but at the moment there's this separation which is making them like hurt. I'm getting there really watching you like uh, I don't know who they're watching you with but they're watching you and they're jealous about it like whatever you're doing they're getting real jealous right this person may talk shit about you to this other person to make them feel better for them fucking it up or not moving towards you right hearing the name Michael It's weird though because this person seems to always bring you up, okay, um, and that's why this other person, like, they know, deep down they know how they feel but they're holding them back, right, 24, 24 on the clock. This person's literally holding themselves back from this love and pretending they don't feel it when all they really want is you. Again, the ten, the ten of cups has come up in every, uh, with every deck that I've used today. So I do see that this person realizing your value though, this divine masculine realizing your value. Um, I'm hearing um, something about a dream, like they had a dream, but it was like really realistic. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, um, this person's realizing your value, okay, and they're about to take um, action. The thing is, the only thing that's holding them back is you rejecting them, the thought that you would reject them. 
Um, they have a lot of anxiety about that. So again, I am getting that this person may have to like pack their bag, okay, and literally like leave wherever they're at to to do this, right? Yeah, because I'm getting they could like literally like this could be a parent or something, um, but they live with this person. It could also be like a sibling, even a friend that they live with, whatever. Um, but yeah, they feel like they actually have to move away from this person before they can go towards what they truly want here, which is you, right? And this is what spirit is guiding them to do as well. Yeah, um, I'm getting that this Divine Masculine is realising that whoever they're around is literally, like, trying to hold them back, okay? They're trying to manipulate them out of wanting this connection, and it's like, they feel it, okay? They're getting all these signs, okay? They may have, like, talked shit about you, but they don't actually feel that way about you. It's like, they just want to tap into your energy. They can't really stop thinking about you, so you would always come up in conversation with whoever this is. And I am getting that, like, you, they would talk shit or whatever, but um, that Divine Masculine didn't actually feel that way, okay? And now he wants to move away from whoever is trying to hold him back from what he truly wants here, which is you, right? The Ten of Cups here with you. Alright, so that's all I have for you. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.